Okay, now we're ready for the second piece of paper. Now you can see how easy it would be to just continue across this way with the wall. And we would just use straight strips of paper. We would make our pattern match here and would do just exactly as I did here. But now I want to show you a corner. Now we're getting into a corner and we're going to submerge the paper we're going to book the paper, we're going to lay it out flat on the drop cloth, and we're going to make a cut. Now, corners are very rarely ever even. So what we do is we measure three places when we're going into a corner. We measure the top. The top here is eight and an eighth inch. We measure the the middle, the middle is eight and three quarters inch. We measure the bottom. The bottom is eight and three quarters. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a marking on the piece of paper and we're going to take, put three marks on the piece of paper and we're going to use the largest of the three measurements and the largest of the three measurements was eight and three quarters. So we're going to cut the left piece eight and three quarters, and the other piece will be 20 and, or no, 19, no, excuse me, would be 12, no, 11 and three quarters. You need to do a little bit of thinking here too, to know the different, or know what mathematics are, and figuring it, but, so, let us do the same thing that we did before. We'll take a piece of paper, open it up, submerge it in the water. There we are. And we're going to wait our 30 seconds. Now, when we go here, what we're going to concentrate on is making a nice what we call a seam here. So these two pieces of these two pieces of paper butt together, and that's called a butt seam. And what we try to do sometimes you can't have it because walls are never flat; they they have a lot of roll in them. But you try to butt the seam as best you can, even if you have to overlap a little bit. It's better to overlap than it is to have the seam showing the wall surface behind it. And people make a big thing out of butt seams, thinking that wallpaper should be seamless, but it is not seamless, and walls are not perfectly flat. So you can't expect that you're going to get perfection out of walls that are not perfect. Now, we've waited our 30 seconds. We're going to go to the, uh, uh, to the water tray. We're going to start pulling it out. Now remember what we said, we're going to start pulling it out slowly so that we can see that it's glossy and that there's no dry spots on the paper. So it's very nice, a little bit of dry spot there, so we'll let it submerge again and pull it back out. Excellent. Okay. We do it slowly because the slower the better. You can really see it. Now we lay it out. We book the top section just as we did before. We have the top section booked. We bring it to us. And now we slowly take the rest of the paper out of the water. Excellent. We hold it here and we let it just drip out. And of course the water is dripping towards the bottom, so you're dripping uh, into the water tray. You let it drip out, set it on the table. Now for the bottom section, we, did the same, we do the same thing as we did for the top. We book it, and now it needs to sit three or four minutes. 